just just tell us. Okay. Oh, support us. Thank you. <laughs> I'll get back to the start. Okay. So, um, who is familiar with open source design? Okay. So, a few people know, most people not, not so sure. Excellent. So, my name is Bernard. Uh, this hey, I'm Ahmed. Uh, and today we're going to be the DevRoom managers. Um, yeah, yeah, whatever that means. Uh, so we'd like to welcome you to uh, the Open Source Design DevRoom. Uh, this is our sixth year, surprise, surprisingly for us. Um, we managed to get this uh, organized. Um, and we'd like to give you just a really short introduction to what and who Open Source Design um, Collective is. Um, and during, during the day sometime today, we'd like to get like a, a big group photo. Um, okay, uh, because every year we kind of put a photo together just to say you know, sort of who we are. So this was taken last year in the dev room. Um, this is about a third of the people that were there, just in terms of you know people coming and going. We're always uh, reasonably full dev room, which I think is a is a is a good indication. Um, we're a collective of. Um, uh, UX designers, um, designers, graphic designers, visual designers, uh, user researchers uh, who advocate for more uh, user-centered design um, processes and methods in um, the design of open, of open source software. We started in kind of late 2014 and every year we've been kind of growing uh, a lot. So what is the purpose of open source design? Well, we've got sort of seven goals that we're trying to, you know, achieve slowly but surely. Um, you can read what these are. I'm going to go through sort of some of them, how we actually put these goals into practice. Um, we're a small collective of sort of core people who are trying to do this. So, you know, everybody's welcome to contribute. And if you've got one of these goals you'd like to sort of, you know, champion, you're, you're very welcome. To, uh, to do that. So in terms of, boom, 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 in terms of the second one, make designers contributors. Um, that's the wrong, that's the wrong one, but anyway. Um, we run um, a jobs board and we host uh, job, adver job advertisements uh, for free. So this is for open source projects who are looking for designers to take part in, in the design of uh, the software. Um, all we ask is that uh, the job must be related to an open source project. It can be from a company, it can be from a project, um, it can be paid, unpaid contri um, um, contribution, it's open. Um, so the, uh, the project can post a job, explain what they're looking for, um, and then it goes out to, it goes onto our website. We publicize it on Twitter, Mastodon, etc. Um, over the years, we've got um, quite a good number of jobs from from both small projects to large um, organizations. Um, last year, one was from Passbolt, um, the, the like a um, collaborative password manager, uh, where they hired a designer from um, the open source uh, design website, um, which was a good, I think a good thing. Um, we also um, try to provide a, a, a community for, for designers who either sort of know what's involved in open source or, or don't know what's involved in open source and are looking for like a, an easy way in. Um, a lot of it is, you know, sort of sharing our experience, sharing our expertise um, about open source. Um, this can be about um, UX methods, particular methods that work really well in open source or methods that don't work well in open source, um, how to get um, involvement from, from the community both in terms of the contributors who are making the software, writing code and from users uh, because in comparison to you know more commercial um, UX work you're, you're, you're dealing with a community of already existing people and it's important not to you know sort of alienate those people um, 
we run a bunch of repos uh, with um, articles, um, articles that we've written, um, conferences that we've attended, um, you know, just sharing the, the, the knowledge that we've managed to, to put together. Ah, this is, this is completely out of, out of sync. So jobs boards, as I said, <laughs> here's, here's some of the jobs, um, yeah, from, Scri from Scribus, um, the, the project people know, uh, tails, um, logos, interaction design, lots of different stuff. Um, design events, uh, so I counted up all of the different um, talks that we either did or we uh, curated over the past six years. So we've, we've um, curated over 100 talks, um, 11, different con uh, 11 different conference tracks. So at um, FOSDEM, yep, come on in. Uh, FOSDEM 2015 to this year, FOS Asia, ApacheCon last year, uh, ApacheCon Europe, and also our own open source design summit uh, we did for, for two years. Um, we've also d um, taught uh, design students um, in universities about how to contribute to open source, what is open source, um, and how it, it's a little bit different from, from, uh, from commercial work. Um, Boom, boom, boom. Yep. If you're interested uh, in getting involved in like the curation of of um, our conference, come on in. Hi. Hi. The um, our conference uh, tracks. You're very welcome. Just come to the forum and introduce yourself. Um, funding. We don't have any. <laughs> um, we basically run on um, on contributions from from the community. Um, Two years ago, we got quite a big um, contribution from Discourse, um, both in terms of finances and actually also powering our uh, Discourse forum, which was very helpful. Um, we're affiliated with uh, the Open Source Initiative, uh, Free Software Foundation Europe, um, also EFF. This is really important because it allows us to basically bang the very big drum about design and user-centered design and usability in um, organizations that have predominantly been about technical, about, you know, code contributions. Um, so, slowly but surely we're getting traction, they're understanding the importance of, of design uh, in, uh, in open source software. Um, the, our affiliation with uh, EFF is around usability and security and privacy. Um, the EFF um, advocate for a lot of use of open source <laughs> software uh, for people who have, you know, certain security needs. Um, as we all know, a lot of that software is difficult to use. Uh, people are now starting to see the importance of, well, if you want to keep a user safe, they also need to understand what they have to do, what happens when the software goes wrong, um, and trying to reduce that, that usability barrier. Um, we have one, two, three, six, eight meetups. Some are very active, some are not so active. Uh, in, yeah, this is a little bit of a strange kind of uh, <laughs> layout of my word cloud. So it's Boston, uh, Portland, Denver, Bangalore, Freiburg in Germany, San Francisco, Brasilia, and Madrid. Uh, if you're interested in running a local meetup, you don't have to ask for permission, you don't have to ask for anything, just you know, go and do it. We have um, a section on our discourse all about local meetups. Um, it's, it's basically to try and, you know, again, get the word about uh, user-centered design and design it in open source software. Um, that's about it. We do have a open collective. Uh, we have the grand total of $1,517 which, uh, yeah, uh, you know, if you're, if you're interested in, in uh, helping, you're very welcome to. And that's it. Um, that's very quick and very short. Uh, if you want to get involved, easiest thing is to go to discourse.opensourcedesign.net. We have uh, a nice um, welcoming um, introductions thread. Um, come on in. Where just... Introduce yourself, you know, as much as you want to. Um, we're quite friendly. <laughs> um, 
we're reasonably active, um, you know, so if there's a certain thing that you'd like to get, um, you're a designer who wants to know more about usability, or you're a user researcher who wants to know more about design, or you're a designer and you know nothing about open source um, software and you want to know how to or where I should, uh, you know, start, we, we answer, you know, every kind of question. Um, one of the things we're trying to kind of do uh, a lot of is go and talk to university students who are sort of starting on their, you know, design career. Um, and before the Adobe's and the, you know, the other people kind of get their hooks into them, we're trying to say, you know, hey, there's a lot of other software that is maybe not as good, but, ca but there's no reason why it cannot be as good. Um, come on in. Um, and basically, you know, show them about a different type of, of design. I think a lot of designers are starting to, you know, be more aware of, thankfully, of ethics and privacy and security. And it's not about, you know, conversion of clicks. And it's not about, you know, all of these kind of things. Um, exposing, you know, what's going on in certain algorithms. And while that's not our exact focus, you know, that is that is certainly something that is built on top of open source software. Um, so the other thing, yeah, we have our wonderful Twitter, you know, uh, where we, uh, we post the jobs that we, um, that we get. Um, and yeah, I mean, we're, we're reasonably, reasonably active there. And that is it. So uh, re a reasonably quick sort of whirlwind tour through open source design. So we have, um, no, that's, uh, that's something else. We have our first talk at 10. Uh, we have like 13 minutes for any questions or I'd also like to understand and know a little bit about who's here. Um, I don't need to know everything about you, but if you wanna say sort of, you know, um, what you do or what you identify as in terms, yeah, come on in. Okay, or not. Um, and if there's anything particular that you're looking to get from, from the dev room today. So I'll start. Uh, I'm Bernard. I'm a user researcher and interaction designer. Um, I work for myself. Um, I do work mainly in like public services. So um, how to get a driving license, but online. Um, I also work in the internet freedom um, uh, space. So um, internet censorship circumvention, um, privacy and digital security. Um, I'm one of the founder members of Open Source Design with five or six other people. Um, I live in London currently, but who knows what will happen after <laughs> at the moment. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's me. Amit, do you want to? Yeah. Hey, uh, I'm Amit. I work as a computational designer. So I'm working with architects uh, to come up with like uh, geometry and fabrication and uh, different design processes. And that's like a big chunk of my work and I've been exploring a lot into like VR and other sort of technologies to give uh, like a 3D perception of space for users. And that's where like my work starts overlapping with the whole UX aspect of things. Okay, if anybody would like to, I mean, you know, just put your hand up and Okay, in the back. I'm Michael. Uh, I work with Civi CRM, which is uh, an open source CRM in office. I get like a lot of open source projects. We've got a lot of good functionality. It's been, it's been terrible, but it could certainly be improved, and so that's why I'm here. So it would be good to collaborate with designers who are interested in, you know, have those kind of expertise. Yep. Yeah, well, if you want, nicely lined up. If you want, at the very end of the day, we have a picture project session, which is basically either designers looking for open source software to work on, or um, open source based projects, companies looking for designers. So it's like a four minute, super, super fast pitch. So you're welcome to, to Okay. Well, there's also the jobs board. Yeah, we get Excellent. Okay. Anybody else? Yes. Uh, I'm uh, Diogo. I'm a UX designer in London. Uh, currently, I work for a gambling company, but for my 
spare time I spend uh, a lot of time uh, collaborating on open source projects. Um, yeah, today I'm giving a talk about uh, using GitHub to, to make the process a bit easier for onboarding designers into this into this project. But I think at the moment it's quite difficult for a designer to to be to try and find out how they can help out. So I think if we improve that. Excellent. Totally agree. Anybody else? Yep. Uh, hello, I'm Pablo. I'm the CEO of uh, Calatus, the parent company of uh, Taiga, across the main agile product management, uh, open source agile product management platform, and also the parent company of UXbox, uh, mm -hmm. open source online prototyping tool that we will be presenting today. Yes, I'm very interested to see your talk. Yeah. So I'm Juan, and I'm already part of the core team of UXbox too. So there. Uh, people interested in open source design. So, hope you like uh, all the recent tracks. I will talk at uh, 1 o'clock. Excellent. Anybody else? Yep. Hey, everyone. My name is Adam Bauer. I'm a user researcher at the Public Authority. We work on a bunch of different open source tools. Um, and as you can mostly see, just learn from all the other wonderful projects and tools that we can use today. Super. Welcome, Alan. So we're just uh, doing a little bit of introduction. If anybody wants to say, you know, sort of who you are, what you work on, and what you'd like to get from the dev room today, and hopefully we can we can give you that. Hi. Yes. I'm Claudia. Uh, we are service designer in Italy. Mm. Excellent. And we are here to learn more about the other side of design. Yep. <laughs> Super. Excellent. Well, you're you're all very welcome. Students. Brilliant. Yeah, we're working. But, well, that's. You, you have job for us. <laughs> <laughs> we can talk. We can talk. Excellent. Excellent. You're very welcome. You, you, you're very welcome. Super. Anybody else? Yes. Excellent. Well, the first step to fixing the problem is acknowledging the problem. <laughs> You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Anybody else? Yes. Hi, Give me a talk. Right now. Excellent. Excellent. Well, that's a really good thing, and I hope to see lots more designers from Africa as well coming coming here to tell us all about the interesting things that you're doing. So you're very welcome. Anybody else? Uh, I'm Francois. Hello, Francois. Um, I represent uh, the CEO of uh, Agingomatrix, which is a project that is open source and that uh, aims at digitizing the sense of taste and smell for the food industry. Uh, okay. <laughs> You're very welcome to use it. Wow, okay, digitizing smell and taste. Okay. I don't, I don't even know where to start with that. <laughs> you're, well, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. Anybody else? It's really early, I know, I know. I'm only this energetic because I, you know, I was up at 6 o'clock drinking lots of coffee. <laughs> yep. Ah, thank you. Ah, okay. Thank you very much for that. Ah, I'm going to go back to that. Okay. Excellent. Super. Well, you're very welcome, and thank you for your contributions. I, I've, I'd seen people, you know, um, fixing things, and I don't know where to start with that. So, thank you very much for for your time. 
So we're doing a little introduction, just sort of, you know, who you are, um, what you do, and what you'd like to get from the, the dev room today, if there's anything. Okay. Yes. Yes, um, I'm Blaise Tapu. I'm from Germany. I'm a former IT project manager. I'd like to learn open source. I'm looking for support to do opportunities in both places in Europe or Africa. And that's what I want to do. I want to learn the, the contribution and see how I can. Okay. Well, you, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. Uh, I just want to make sure I'm not... Okay, so it's 10 o'clock. We have four minutes. I think I'm going to stop talking because I'm, I'm tired of hearing my own voice. <laughs> I'm sure you are as well. So um, we'll get pieces, computer connected and everything working. Um, yeah, and we'll start, start proper.